Here's an example of using regression analysis in Excel. I have uh, X and Y data points here, and I've also plotted them as symbols just for uh, so you can see what they look like. And let's do first a linear regression analysis. So I'll just pick a cell here, label it linear regression. And so what we'll do is we'll pick, we'll go to the data tab, data analysis. And let's pick uh, regression. OK. And now Excel wants the input Y range. And that's the Y values. And then it wants the input X range, which are these values. And the output range, where we're going to put these uh, results. I'll just put them right here. Pick a cell. And everything else should be fine. Click OK. And Excel will fill in the data, uh, the results. Linear correlation coefficient here, uh, multiple r. And notice that there's an intercept and an x variable one, which is the slope. So if we want to generate a straight line, best, best fit straight line, and plot it, uh, one way we can do that is to use this uh, intercept and slope to create our line. So I'll create another uh, column of data. For a straight line, all you need is two data points. So I made a X and Y labels here. I'll pick the lowest value, 0, and the highest value of X is 1. And then for my Y, I'll say equals. You can see the equation being typed up in here. Equals the intercept, the Y intercept, plus the variable, the slope, X variable 1, times X. Now that would work uh, if we want to fill that down. The problem is when you go here, it's going to also change these values. So what we really should do is put uh, the dollar signs on here. You can do that by hitting the F4 button. Highlight C39 or, and, uh, or B42 rather. Uh, yeah, C39 and then hit the F4 button. And now when we fill, up, fill down, it will uh, keep those constant. So we're just the only one that's changing is the 0 or the, or the 1. So now we can plot these. Go to our plot and Right click, select data, add, and I'm going to call this linear fit. The x values will be these two that I just created, and the y values will be these two, and OK. OK, again. And by default, Excel puts symbols, but I can right click on that and format data series. I want this to be a line. So I can pick line. You can pick different colors and stuff. But uh, for now, and the uh, marker, I don't, I don't want any marker. None. Solid line line style. So I'm going to make this a line. So that's the best fit straight line through these data points.